All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. In the last episode, we managed to do a bunch of missions with Magnemite, and we also found out that Gengar wanted to steal Caterpie's mission to rescue Metapod. And we've given him a one-day head start because last episode we uh, did some training. And this episode, we're going to head into Sinister Woods and beat Gengar and Team Meanies. This must be it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should be in there already. We need to hurry. Alright, Sinister Woods, let's do this. We've got a swine up to begin with. And hopefully Magnemite can help us out in our mission. I'm going to wait here and let him come towards us. Because if we all bop him and do a water gun, that'll help a lot because swine up is a ground type. <clears throat> Now, the kind of enemies that appear in this area, um, I mean, it's wood, so you'd expect more grass-type Pokemon, but actually, it's not that many grass-types. Obviously, there will be grass-types, but it's more like bugs and other things like that. Ah, that must be the artist with the apple. <clears throat> I would prefer it if you didn't do that. Thanks for the save there, Mudkip. Oh, a pseudo widow. That'd be perfect for me to use absorb against. They usually stand still, um, because they act like a tree, pseudo wudo, as it were. But it's not spelled with an S. Okay, um Mudkip, I'd prefer it if you could conserve our water gun. In case, you know, tougher enemies come along. Now these guys, because they've got absorb, I don't want them pop um, you know, absorbing my health back from me. Should do it. Nice. I'll have that. I'll also have that apple. Ah, there's some frog can go take a hike. Oh, here we go, an orb. Escape orb, perfect. If we ever get into trouble, we can use this to as an escape rope. Escape orb, escape rope. You know, play Pokemon. You know how it works. Escape from any dungeon immediately. Unfortunately, we don't get to teleport back to the Pokemon Center because uh, we're in the Pokemon world. There are no Pokemon Centers. But there are other man-made buildings, which don't make any sense at all. But who's uh, counting? Or who's keeping track? Right, Cherry Berry, that's good. Now, Cherry isn't an anagram of Cherry, it's just a bad spelling of Cherry. Whereas other other berries like Nanab and, um, you know, like, what was the other one called? God, I can't remember any. Like Apricot, that's like, well, that's a bad spelling as well, it's like Apricot. Oh, seriously? Alright, we're just gonna surround you. For you. Yeah, that's all it can do, it's harden. Uh, there's no need to do a crowd attack. There we go. Easy peasy. The white gummy. Someone pick up a white gummy. I don't think it was us. Mm, damn it, I really want that white gummy. Oh, we did pick it up. Alright, never mind. There we go, level 12. 3, 2, 2. 2, 2. Mudkip as well. All the basic Pokemon level up at pretty much the same rate. So you can expect this to happen for a while. And Magnemite leveled up as well. 5 HP, man. He's going to be a tank, isn't he? He's got really good defensive stats. Um, also, it helps. He's a Steel type. Steel is the best defensive type in the game. Thank you, Mag. Got yourself a Blast Seed. Shroomish picked up a Blast Seed. That means there is Shroomish nearby. Fuck. That Shroomish has got to be the one. Shit, I'm paralyzed. I can't do anything. Oh my god, is he going to combo me? 
Oh my god, that can't happen. Uh, I need to take a back seat to this. Okay. Alright, sorry about that pause there. Had to deal with a moth flying around the room. Okay. What to do? I really like to get my HP back. Orenberry should take care of that. Okay. Enough. Gotta do it. Try this again. That's right, bitch. Man, that was a really close call. Hello. Come for revenge, eh? Oh shit. That's a, he's gonna combo me again. There we go. Last one, Magnemite. Here we go. There's the exit. I'll tell you what we can do. We can also equip items. If I can give this to Mudkip, it means that the next time he gets paralyzed, he can eat that berry and he won't be paralyzed anymore. Hopefully if we run to another Shroomish, that will take care of that. Dead end. You can also tell when dead ends are about to appear. It's a Linoon. I can quick attack it from a distance. Nope. Positive, we can recruit some Pokemon in this dungeon. Like that. Yeah, Ladybear. Okay. Why the hell not? Let's have Ladybear on our team. A new member join the team. Let's give it a nickname. You can be called. Led. I don't know. Ed? Eh. Let's go with that. Not very creative. Mag. Magnemite, I don't know. Oh shit. Man. There we go. So I have a new member on our team. Hopefully it'll help us out. Scyther. In fact, we can actually check what Pokemon we can recruit. We can actually get a Scyther on our team. A Wooper and Shroomish. Damn, I'd rather have the Scyther on our team than the Ledibur. But now that we've got four members, we can't get any more, fortunately. Oh shit. He's targeting Ledibur. Super Sonic, yes. That'll be good. We might as well move on to the next. We're trying to get through stories here. We can come back later for recruitment. Need them to join in the fight, but it's not a good position right now. That's great, we can do it. Do it again. Nice. And another level up. Oh yeah, bug types level up really quickly. Obviously the trade-off for that is that they're usually weak in comparison to most of the Pokemon. But they can still be useful. I mean they're good against psychic types at least. Oh shit. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. That Mudkip is smart. Threw the Cherry Berry towards me. In fact, let's do it again. What the hell not? Come on, just a little closer. 
go. Whack. Wow, this letterbird's gaining levels like no one's business. Look at hell. Go, there's the next floor. Nice. I need that orange berry. Slack off. Yeah, let's ignore that for now. Also, with water tiles, you can cut across them. And water Pokemon like Mudkip can actually walk on them. And flying types like Ledibur can walk on them as well. Or fly on them. So let's eat an apple because our belly, if we take a look, has only got 9 out of 100. If that drops down to zero, our belly will... Um, be, our belly being empty means that we'll start losing health on each step instead of regaining it. Here we go. Belly slightly filled. Oh shit. I did not count on that. Wow! Nice one, Lediba! You kicking ass? Sweet, a max elixir. And an orange berry. Let's do this. That's handy. Some more money. I'll complain with some more money. More money. I got the feeling this guy's gonna put us to sleep. Alright, at the very least I can lower his defense. Really? He's just gonna bot me? Oh well. That's a lot of experience, because the executors the evolved form is execute. Very easy to defeat. Here we go. Wow! We came quite a ways into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there! You know who's gonna get to Metapod first? We are! Even though we had a head- a one-day head start thanks to your idiocy. So, for you to go ahead! Well, we can't let that happen. What? what Hey, Gengar! Why do you always mess with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination! Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Mudkip. Oh. Okay. Uh, I thought we were going to get like a boss theme, but apparently not. Let's quick attack. Oh shit, quick attack won't work on Gengar. It's worth a shot. Oh, it worked? Alright, I love that. Alright, Medicham is the biggest threat. Because it can... If it does a fighting type move on Magnemite, it's over. Ice Punch, oh my god. Shit. Let it be any time. Could be great for helping out. Um, yeah, let's lower his defense as well. Well, I mean, if any move was going to lose PP, at least Metal Sand was the one to lose. Fuck. Right. That's it. I'm not going to use the Link move again, otherwise it'll go apart. Alright. Metachamp is the biggest threat it needs dealing with. Ah, fuck! Can, can we wake up? Let it burn! Let it burn. Oh, thank you, Bud Kip. Can we wake up anytime? Anytime would be great. Okay, we're in it. I think we can get away with. Yeah, let's do this. Excellent. And Magnemite grew up. Excellent. That'll help out with some defensive moves. There we go, that should do it. Uh, I'm not gonna do the link move, I will absorb. Nice. Don't know why it took so long to do that then. Could have just done it where I was. Yes. Level up. And it went you're really quiet. A 
Wow, 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 wow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. That's right, bitch. Get out of here. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Oh, it's a Metapod. What about? Did you maybe come looking at me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Hey, I was scared. And I'm Australian. Why is my why does my actually keep going back to Australians? Oh, whatever. I was scared, so I kept my shell harder and waited and waited. Thank you. Do -do -do -do. We saved the Metapod from Team Knee Knees. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, might give him later. But I don't have any money. Oh, no, no. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. <laughs> That'd be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Later, we should do something with this place. We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. That's cool. A rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too. Me too. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Let's work hard and build our own rescue team base. Blader and Mudkip. Sorry, Blader and Mudkip. Thank you again. Okay, bye. Work out. Be careful going home. Oh. Well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we gotta show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. That was a tiring day. Let's do some more good tomorrow. See you. Save the adventure. The next morning. Oh, nightmares. All sounds good. Later, good morning. Let's do good work again today. Mm, hello? Huh? Who could that be? Jump up. Um, yes, rescue team 5D's here. That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you? Please help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to wait for that. But my friend, it's a cost. I win, please. I remember now. Jumpluff, we saw you in Pokemon Square. We watched Shiftry agreeing to take on your rescue job. Yes, but Shiftry hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Are you serious? Our friend Jumpluff can't wait between the rocks. We Jumpluff can go anywhere if we catch a wind. But even though the skies are filled with thundercats, for some odd reason, the winds have a blown. Not even a breeze? So, that's strange. Shifri's leave your hands. Can we put powerful winds? We thought Shifri's win will be able to dislodge our friend. But... But Shifri hasn't returned? Doesn't sound like all that challenging of a rescue mission. It is strange. Oh? That's the spirit blader. Your expression tells me you're ready. Okay then, we'll go look for them. No problem, you can count on us. Let's go, Blader. Oh yeah. But first, we're gonna check some mail. We're gonna read some stuff about getting hungry and all that other stuff. Eat something when you go hungry. When you're, while you're exploring a dungeon, you will get progressively hungry. Your belly goes down. If you become famished, you will eventually lose HP and even faint. That's why you should eat something to fill your belly. You can always buy food at the Kekne on shop. Let's throw that. Throw seeds. Seeds can be thrown too. Seeds are usually meant to be eaten, but did you know they can also be thrown at other Pokemon to unlock their effects? Toss seeds you don't want to eat at foes. Throw good seeds at friends. Don't be afraid to throw your seeds. That can be interpreted in, in a weird way. And you also saw that earlier when Mudkip threw the cherry berry towards me. Uh, so it works with berries as well as seeds. Recent natural disasters. Investigations underway into recent rash of natural disasters. Pokemon in affected areas attack any outsider without hesitation. Some believe a mysterious force is behind their behavior. One source blamed Diglett for triggering earthquakes, but the, investiga the investigative team is skeptical. That must be the Skarmory spreading fake news. 
Change your option settings to suit your playstyle. Press B to open the menu, then choose others and game options. You can change settings to suit the way you play. Excellent. That's all the information that we need. So let's head into town and drop off our stuff. Uh, but before that, let's check out Kecleon's shop. See if we've got some good things to get. Don't see anything here. Maybe the Reviver Seed might be useful to grab. But I think I'm going to save all my money for friend areas, because there are more Pokemon that I want to grab. Yeah, nothing interesting here. Okay, I'm going to buy the Ravaged Field for 1,000 Poke Dollars. Racket, racket, let's be friends, one time! Racket, racket, Ravaged Field now! We are a great Pokemon that live in the friend area, Ravaged Field! Would you like to have other friend areas? No, because I don't want to hurt my voice. Thank you, come again. Alright, let's do this. We're going to head over to the bulletin board and grab some more missions that I'm going to do off screen. We've got a KO mission in the Tiny Woods. We, we can't actually recruit Pokemon from Tiny Woods, by the way. I don't know why. A Reviver Seed, I definitely want to grab that. Thunderwave Cave, 200 Pokemon Dollars, I might as well do that at the same time. 100 Pokemon Dollars and a Mysterious Item. And a Mount Steel mission of 100 Pokemon Dollars and something else. So I'll grab those missions, there's nothing fantastic on here. Let's head back to the main area. And we're going to go check out Magnemite. Uh, actually, we do have Bally and Lead. But I'll keep uh, Magnemite. I should say, like, we're going to train up just this guy for now. The others, we're just going to keep recruiting. We need an open slot, by the way. We can only have four members at a time. So, if I have three with me, that means I can recruit one Pokemon from a dungeon. So if we check out the job list, let's take the Thunderwave Cave jobs. And I just want to check something. Yeah, Silent Chasm is the next place with the next story mission. But I'm going to end the episode here. Off screen, I'm going to do Thunderwave Cave missions. And next episode, we're going to head into the Silent Chasm to rescue Jump Love's friend and see what, ha see what happened to Team Shiftry. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.